All right, let's get you some sports news now. Cricket South Africa backs Proteus interim team director Enoch Nkwe because he has what it takes to be successful at the highest level and doesn't believe uh, it's throwing him under the bus by appointing him in a caretaker role for a, well, some would say tough assignment. The assignment consists of three T20 internationals and three test matches in India. 36-year-old Nkwe has uh, no illusions of the daunting task that lies ahead but believes... India can be beaten. The ink on the appointment contract of Nkwe as Proteus interim team director had barely dried when questions arose about his experience at international level. And his recent success at franchise level with the Highfield Lions and the Josie Stars in the inaugural Lamsanzi Super League didn't convince some that he was the man for the job. While the former Lions coach believes his appointment might have been unexpected, He's ready for the challenge. If I really felt that um, I'm not, I'm not ready for to to lead this team in the next two months, then I would have said no to to the offer. But I, I strongly feel that with with the recent experience in the in the last year, uh, the environments that I was thrown in, um, you know, that gives me a lot of confidence, you know, to to really lead this team. There were always going to be speculation as to who was going to be appointed to the hot seat especially after a disastrous World Cup showing in England and a tour of India on the horizon. And some felt the fact that the appointment of one of a group of excellent rising black coaches was to dent his chances of being appointed on a permanent basis. But the tour to India will not make or break Ngwe. I don't think that one performance can, you know, ultimately influence um, the, the decision of um, appointing the full-time director. CSA has stressed that it will offer Nkwe support and afford him the opportunity to choose his own coaching staff. The series against India gets underway on the 15th of next month. Pesinka to ABC News, Johannesburg.